Hey viewers, doing just a quick little video today. Uh, I've been waiting for the right time to catch my uh, heat pump in a defrost cycle. And uh, this would be it right now. As you saw the outside part of my uh, heat pump in another one of my videos, I'm just going to turn this fan off here so you can hear me talking. Um, this is the indoor part. It's not the prettiest thing, but it functions well. You know, you got your suction pressure, your discharge. So right now it's in a defrost, means the outside fan is not running. There you go, it just came back out. It wasn't very long, so I don't... It's not that cold out today. Turn the fan back on. I was going to say it's not the prettiest thing, but it works. 12,000 BTU uh, evaporator from a window air conditioner. Temperature coming off the coil. Steady. Um, you know, your uh, condensate drain there goes outside with the lines. And your fan does have three speeds, but I always leave it on low because it's quiet and there's adequate airflow. Second speed, or medium, and high. Not much of a difference between medium and high, but it's a lot of airflow. And a little timer I hooked up that only runs when the system is on. It uh, counts the hours. And so far since I put this in, about a year after I made the heat pump, it's run 6,841 hours. Huh. Got your your line for your sensing bulb there for your TX valve. Very under all that insulation. Temperature still climbing. That surround there, just a little Honeywell total line thermostat, pretty basic. It's all I need, it's on the job. Lots of heat, and for something homemade, it's pretty darn quiet, it doesn't wake me up at all when it's running during the night. This came out of a, a meat restaurant. The little three volt battery inside it died, so I hooked up some a bunch of extra solar cells and it's enough to power this thing on. I cover them over, I think. It should probably go out in a couple seconds here, I think. There it goes. <laughs> And it's back. Huh. Again, 
and this system is using uh, propane as a refrigerant, almost identical to R22 in pressures and performance. One of these days I'm probably going to get around to painting this uh, piece of wood white, make it look nicer. And see this thing get to 100 degrees. go. 100 degrees on a homemade heat pump and 3.2 degrees centigrade outside. But that's, that's it. One ton homemade AC for a heat pump. And thanks for watching.